Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all life of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent. Immediately and permanently, I call in on it the appearance of white light and pray that you reside, stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, try to steal from you. It is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so you have a, I think this is a gentleman that may be coming towards a feminine energy to close some type of uh, cycle out. Someone wants to have closure with you so there may be something going on behind the scenes that you don't have full clarity on or they just want to they just want to be able to give you their piece of the story or their side of the story to kind of tell you why something has been going on um and this person may be going through some type of healing as well or they're starting to see things from a higher perspective um but someone is afraid to come towards you they are unsure about coming towards you and the reason i said that is because when these two cars came out actually when all three came out they fell out sideways a little bit sideways okay so someone is unsure of coming towards you because they don't know if you're going to be like a standoff-ish or I don't even think it's standoff-ish. I think they don't know if you're going to be defensive towards them, if you're going to like refuse to talk to them or something like that. Um, yeah, they want to have clarity or give you clarity, kind of tell you what it is they, uh, they have to say so that you can know why something has been going on especially when it comes to an institution or an, uh, uh, or with a higher fan or someone that's just religious or something like that. They have a fuller understanding of what has been going on. So this is why they want to come towards you. But there's some type of blockage um, that is going on as well with them. And I think this has to do with like a third party. It's like every time someone tries to take action to come towards you or to communicate with you, someone is taking some type of action to cause some type of interference. This is a third party. Maybe they are not aware that there is a third party that is causing hindrances. So you may not be even aware that someone is trying to communicate with you because every time they take the initiative to communicate with you, there is some type of block there is some type of stalemate someone also wants to let you know that they are not your enemy because now they know as well that you are not their enemy also there's a woman out there i think you may watch my platform there's a gentleman that watches my platform as well now i don't know if you two are around each other but there's a gentleman that is interested in you the only thing is that this is someone that stays in their mind a lot he may find you to be a bit of a flirt um, so it's, uh, it has him kind of stuck in his mind. It's like, I don't know if like this person is open to dating a whole lot of people, or this is someone that's, that flirts with everybody. Is she going to be someone that is like uh, a committal or is this someone that's non-committal? I think someone has your personality mixed up with, with something else. Um, I think because you smile with people, you are very friendly and easily approachable and things like that. They have kind of turn this into something where it's that well she's a flirt I, I i don't think you're a flirt i think you're just someone that is friendly and easy to talk to um you kind of talk to everybody i i didn't i don't get like a flirty thing i think there is something where okay so on this side of the world what i've noticed since i've been here in the u.s is that when you are nice to men when you're kind to men and things like that they take it out of they take it out of context a lot of the times they think it's because you like them if you're smiling with them i think it's because they're used to some women being that way is that when they're nice to you they want something from you or they're going to be willing to get on their knees and slurp them up and down or something like that but i don't think with you this is what it is i think you're just someone that's naturally nice kind you're there's no ulterior motives for why it is you're being nice to people but there's something where i'm getting a masculine has been doing something behind the scenes to interfere with your communications with other masculines he thinks may be interested in you or he thinks that you will be interested in and i don't think you're interested in these men i think you're just nice to them you all may work together go to school together whatever they say is go to church to get church together 
But I think he has a misconception about your personality. So if you are the masculine watching this channel, I don't think the woman you are interested in is a flirt. I think the woman is just, she's just naturally nice and kind to people and talks to people easily. Like, you know, like if you're at work, right? And you probably don't know someone likes you, but you know, you're friendly with everybody. Some people take that as, you know, Oh, she's a, uh, you know, she's a, 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 a reckless one or she's loose or something like that. A lot of the times it's not that you are that, it's just that you are just being nice. Okay. Uh, like for example, I remember when I was a, a little younger, um, I think I was like in my twenties at the time. And I used to be on, I used to catch the bus and stuff like that, right. To work and to wherever I was going, of course. And I remember I encountered this gentleman at the bus stop one day. He was talking to me and this threw me off guard. Like this just threw me off, like this threw me off kilter. Like it, I don't, I, I've never really even been able to understand this conversation to this day. And this was like something that happened maybe 13, 14 years ago. So I'm on the bus. I mean, I'm at the bus stop waiting for the bus. He comes up and he's talking to me and I'm smiling. I'm being nice and everything. And he made a comment and said, yeah, you're already too nice for me. You smile too much. And, you know, I'm like, that just threw me off. So in his mind, first of all, I don't know why he assumed that he was my type, that if he asked me out, I was going to say yes. But in his mind, he had concluded that because I was someone that smiled, smiled with him, was nice to him, that that meant that anyone else that came to approach me, if I was in a relationship with him, I would have went with them or accepted their offer or something and it's not that a lot of the time it's just like maybe a lot of you are used to women that are women that are you know misleading they put themselves out to be one way but they're not really that way so you think if you see a woman smiling with another man then that means that she's interested in him or he's interested in her when really they're just having a conversation okay and I also remember recently, maybe over a year or two years ago, something like that, however long it's been, I was working in a building and I think some of the males in the building had like a misconception that because I was being nice towards them, that I had some type of interest in them. Mind you that I was like the HR in the building. It's that you got to be nice to other employees. It's not, it's not something where you say, oh, I'm interested in you or, you know, I want to go in the back room and do something. It's nothing like that. A lot of, some women, they're just nice. That's all. There's nothing to it. There's nothing behind it. You say that, you say hello to them. They say hello to you. Um, you smile with them. They smile with you. And I'm one of those people when I enter like the building into a room, I say hi to everybody with a smile on my face. So people may take that out of context and say, oh, she's too friendly. She's so easily approachable. There's no bound. But then you F around and you come around and then you find out it ain't what you think it is. Right. You may you may see me. You may see me in my sunshine energy and then you. You try, you try to bust a move and you know, maybe you offend me or you try to do whatever. And then I show up in this energy towards you and then it's going to throw you off and leave you wondering. I'm telling you, leave you wondering. It's like, what the heck was that? I thought she was all sunshine and butterfly. And then what the heck is this? She's coming out in an emperor energy. You, like just cause you think something does not mean it is what it is, but there's a man that watches my platform. And this is why I think I'm saying it because you, you're stuck in your mind a lot. OK, you could even be the one that's wanting to communicate with a feminine energy. And maybe this is not a third party. Maybe this is your mental. Your mental has you stuck, st uh, stuck. You keep thinking, oh, you know, she has options out here. Wish this woman that I saw. Yes, yeah, she does have options. But also that does not mean that she's entertaining those options. Yeah, it doesn't mean she's entertaining these, op these options out here. Like she's aware this woman is aware that she can go out and get anyone that she wants, which a lot of sisters have those options, have that available to them, even the brothers too. But the woman you're interested in, yes, she has options, but that does not mean she's just out here giving her backpack to everybody just because she's friendly. That This is someone that's balanced. This is someone that's in the upright. This is someone that, you know, you get in a, a, a some type of alliance with or collaboration with and you know it's it's an abundant collaboration whether it be romantic or whether it be platonic 
business, whatever this is, you got to get out of your mind. You're someone that is in your mind a lot. I'm telling you, you are in your mind a lot and you need to put an end to this. You're, yeah, you could be like a higher fence, could be a king of swords, king of pentacles, king of swords kind of energy. You're in your mind a lot. Like you're living in fear and anxiety that if you approach a woman, she's going to turn you down or she's going to end up disappointing you because you've been disappointed a lot in your past. Or maybe you you were disappointed recently with someone who was reckless, but that does not mean that this woman is reckless. Everybody is different. This is a whole empress energy that you are worried about going to wars. Oh my gosh. Like you're putting your blessings on hold. You need to go for it because this is a big yes for you and this woman being together, investing in each other, okay? Um, but you're put, oh, baby, look at that. I'm telling you, okay? This is a big yes. This is an empress that you are stuck in your mind about giving an offer to um, because you're so unsure. I don't know if someone recently broke your heart or you're going through some type of transition, but this is an empress that you find to be very beautiful and things like that. Also, there is something with a mother and daughter behind the scenes that people may not be aware of. Now, the woman you are interested in, she is an empress. You do find her to be beautiful. This is someone very loyal and committed, very hardworking. Yes, that's showing in here. But there is something where a mother and daughter may be on some type of team. Um, they form some type of alliance to cause destruction in another woman's life. Because this mother or maybe this wife figure wants you to give an offer to this queen of one. So you need to thread with caution on that uh, aspect of your life. Maybe there's something going on around you that you are not aware of, but you need to make sure that you are paying attention. This woman, absolutely, she and her daughter are plotting on a way how they can get victory with you. Like they want this man, whoever this is, and this could be a whole different gentleman, but I'm picking up on a couple of different energies as well. This could be a whole different situation where you have a mother and daughter working together so that this woman, this queen of wands here can be victorious over another woman. So she's planning on how she can move forward. You could even have a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that has her own motives for why she's doing something. So you as the light worker, the divine feminine, I'm telling you, <laughs> whatever she's planning, it's not going to be successful. It's bad news for her. Uh, you as the divine feminine, you could have a few other women behind the scenes that just are coming after you. They want someone to see you in a lesser light than you are. But here you are showing up as an empress, queen of wands, energy, bad mama jamma. I wouldn't be surprised if you are like a high priestess or something like that. But whatever this woman is plotting is a failure. She's not being realistic about the situation. This could be someone that is also like in competition with you to be seen as the better option, the best version of you. I don't know how that's possible, but that's what I'm getting from this woman. This is like a bit of a narcissist. She wants to be seen as the best at everything. Someone is a poor communicator as well. So there's something about her mental where she's not like someone does not live in reality. Someone is like outside of the box in a delusional way. It is absolutely a beautiful thing to be someone that thinks outside of the outside of the box, excuse me. But this is a woman that thinking outside of the box is dangerous because this is someone that you know comes up comes up with ways on how she can end other people's comfort and other people's options, stability, and things like that, just so she can be seen as the victorious one. So whatever she's plotting is not realistic. It's not going in her favor. This is someone that is absolutely impulsive. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the same queen of wands we've been seeing that's been doing a whole lot of voodoo. He do, she do, coat do behind the scenes to make sure that something goes in her favor. It's not going in your favor. Whatever you are plotting is already a filler, failure. If you're trying to send some type of communication, you're trying to send some type of uh, message to mislead someone into thinking that something has gone in your favor or you receive something, it's not going to work. Like, I don't know what's up with this woman's mental. There's a woman around someone or in a community her mental is unstable. I don't know if she's around like a king of wands, king of pentacles, whatever this is. Someone's mental is dangerous. And I don't think she knows that people are aware of it. And they're trying to find a way to kind of back up, back away from her. But there's something very dangerous. And it has a lot to do with some type of finance, some type of money. 
being in some type of relationship with someone that is wealthy uh, and because it's been very beneficial and beneficial for her, not for him, but for her, she's trying to hold on to this. So whatever communication she's trying to send in, like someone is trying to take some type of action to come towards you and give you some type of bad news. It's like, hey, I just want you to know that this person either passed away or, you know, they gave me, yeah, she's trying to tell you that someone passed away, but it's not the truth. This is like a tactic for her to defeat you because she's trying to block you from receiving some type of offer. This is a liar and a thief. She's trying to steal an opportunity away from you so that you can be left out in the cold and she can be seen as the choice for King of Wands because she wants to have some type of abundance this man has to him. So, like he's destined to be abundant. So she feels that if she gets a, a, a commitment, an offer, a contract or something like that from him, then she's going to be abundant. That's not how it works. This person will receive their abundance in life if they partner up with someone in the upright or with their higher level soulmate, their twin flame, their equal, okay, someone that's genuine. So you can plot and plan all you want, but you're not in the upright. You're not getting that abundance. And I don't even think this man wants to be associated with her. He does not want to be associated with her because she's dark as heck. And there's a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that's planning someone else. But she still calls him. I'm so sick of these people. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sick of these women. The king of the queen of pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. There's a reason why all of y'all have been coming out reverse or being shown as dark. Y'all ain't getting the victory. It's so annoying. Queen of Swords, you're about to be headed to poverty. Maybe getting put out of an institution for lying. You may have stole some type of position. Yeah, baby, you stole some type of position. You collaborated with a group of people behind the scenes to help you get some type of position that you were not supposed to receive. So if, let's say you work for a company and you were up for some type of promotion and you were in some type of competition with a woman that had been in the company for a longer time than you, or this could be a masculine, they block you from receiving some type of communication. So she could be the one to receive this 10 of wands promotion. This was something that was sturdy. Right. This was something that was supposed to put you in a very abundant energy. But she and her friends collaborated. This group that is burning now, they collaborated to cause a tower for you so that you would not receive this offer. But look at this. You are receiving something even bigger that's going to lead to some type of abundance and new life for you. So I don't know what it is with these four women. They keep showing up in the reverse and they're going to have to move on because you're moving on with your life, living in your truth, being protected by source and your ancestors. Whatever they were trying to block for you, it is protected by source. I'm telling you, love, protection. Love is protected. Healing, protect everything. Your abundance is protected. So I don't know what it is these women think they're still doing. It's like... It's like knowing something is not going in your favor, knowing that you've lost, but you're still refusing to receive, to accept defeat. You know, like imagine like being in a battle, you know, like the, in, imagine like a movie, right? You're in a battle. You've lost the battle. All your men around you have fell. You're the only one standing. And then the other army, they have like 300,000 people standing and you're like, I'm still going to go fight. Fight who? My, my dear, fight who? Tell them about, ah! And then the army is just standing there looking at you like this moron. Like just standing there looking at you, charging at them because you know all they got to do is take one shot and you're down. So I don't, I don't know what's up with this woman's mental. And I think it's because she has... Her mother behind the scenes helping her cause these blockages and manipulating everybody else around them. They're used to manipulating people so they can get their way, but they're not getting their way this time. It's a whole lot going on behind the scenes of a lot of you and you're not aware what's going on. And 
This is why people feel like they can take some type of action and it's not going in their favor. I'm telling you, whatever this woman is plotting, this is a narcissist. She thinks she's better than everybody else. Whatever she's plotting is a failure. This bad communication, baby, she received bad communication. So if she thought she was going to come towards you to give you some type of bad communication, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. This came out sideways, whether it's in the reverse upwards, the, 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 the message is still going to come out the way it's supposed to. Someone has like ended their stability. Someone has like undone themselves. Okay. They've like unraveled their life, but they don't realize it's the end of the road. Or even if they do, they're still living in denial. Someone is not about to come towards you to do anything. Because it's not going to end in your favor. So even she's plotting to come towards you to give you a piece of her mind, not going to end in her favor. So someone is feeling, this is someone that's feeling to self-actualize. Someone that's feeling, refusing to heal because this is not something that's a priority to this kind of person. Because they're so vain, superficial, and like her, her IQ, baby, is, is buffering at the, at the, at the bottom it's buffering at the bottom of the scale. It says she's trying to force it to go up and it said, no, you got to do the work. You got to do the work. Okay. Now that this chapter is over, she is left out in the cold. Someone may have even broken up with her. It's like, I can't do this anymore, Jizzy Bell, because that's what she is. A whole Jizzy Bell out here wanting to be seen as an empress. Her mother may be an empress, but she's not an empress. So I don't know if she thinks that being an empress is something that's passed down. The bloodline, no, baby, is how you, is how you carry yourself, the effort you put into yourself, your mindset, your heart, and everything. So your mother may be an empress, but you're not an empress. You're showing up as a narcissist. You're someone that's thinking and believing that you're better than other people. Feel you're at being an empress. You are not part of the empress community. Okay. So this chapter with whoever. She's been with, it's over, and she's being left out in the cold. It's a, this is done. I don't want to be with you. We've been doing this for a long time. It's not going anywhere. I don't know how else to tell you, but this is over. And she's still trying to stand her ground and make him think that, you know, she's the best option. She's the better option. I'm the empress. I'm telling you, you and I are twin flames. We are so missing, blah, 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 blah. And they said, girl, that twin flame stuff is overrated. People are out here looking for their higher level soulmates or waiting for their higher level soulmates. You can be the twin flame all you want. I don't think he's interested because the, there's a man going through some type of awakening. So you being a twin flame is not something that's turning him on. It's just that, oh, okay, that's nice to know because he knows the truth at this point. So she's trying to stand her ground. Why is she still, why is she still trying to cause chaos for someone else behind the scenes, Right. She thinks if she keeps on putting this facade long enough, he's going to break and say, oh, I knew you were my higher level soulmate. I knew you were my twin flame. I don't know what that empress over there was talking about. But it said, no, baby, no, you ain't about to keep causing. Like, this is someone that plays with people's emotions and their mentals. This conniving, just very dark. Everything that comes out of her mouth is a lie. So I don't even know how it is this person, the man that she's with, has been able to put up with this because she's been weighing him down. He may be a bit of a pushover or something like that. So maybe all she got to do is take her clothes off and you know, all is well again in karmic veil, whatever this is, honey, I don't know, but whatever this group, cause someone got some, a group of women, a community, a family, she got them all together to come up against another woman and baby, it didn't go in the way they thought it was. Okay. They went from celebrating to hanging out here in limbo, like the hanging man, like that dried meat we talk about on this channel. Baby, it didn't go in the way they thought it would. It's, a, it's the end of the manipulations. It's the end of the mind games. It's the end of the emotional play, not being genuine with someone. It's the end of this. Someone's going to have to seize fire. I'm telling you, in this empress, you've been coming out for you like you've been out for someone's blood and they ain't paying you no mind baby they're gonna have wish fulfillment i don't know what to tell you why you're out here fighting with people trying to encourage them to keep going the whole friendship group the family is being it's in uproar and in havoc what does it got to do with two people coming together 
abundance, money. That's what it has to do with. That's all it has to do with. And she wants to be seen as intellectual, but you ain't intellectual. I'm telling you, there's a king, queen of swords, reverse, queen of wands, reverse, queen of cups, reverse, queen of pentacles, reverse. They've all been working behind the scenes. They may all know each other or they're all from different parts of karmic communities coming after one person. And the whole time, you know, this queen of swords, you could be the queen of swords collective, not in the reverse, the upright. And you know, intuitively, that you're already victorious. So you don't got to entertain whatever it is these people are doing out here. It's absolutely ridiculous. And the universe, the spirit realm is watching these people and they're tired. They say they're tired of this cycle. This woman don't know how to let go. The one in the reverse. Because of the attitude, of her attitude. She don't know how to let go. So she may be partnering up with a queen of swords now to finalize something and say, I just need you to work with me so that we can make sure she don't get with him. He don't get with her. They don't, the girl, listen, honey, at this point, your energy is redundant. It's agitating the person around you, the masculine you're trying to force to see you as the person in the upright. He's kind of fed up with you. You may want to throw it with caution because you're about to push someone to the edge and when they decide to react, you ain't gonna be coming back. I'm telling you, <laughs> when he decides to react, you ain't gonna be coming back. You and your friends. I don't know if you all are at the are the three witches, the Twitter D, Twitter dumb, and Twitter dumber. Clean. You're gonna have to move on. Go heal or something. I don't know what to tell you, but I know you don't care about healing. With this page of cups in the reverse. Listen, so the person you're coming after obviously is an empress. They're showing up here in their queen of source energy, high priestess energy, meaning someone is dangerous to be playing with at this time. You're basically playing voodoo against someone that could bind you in your life. And it ain't nothing you can do about that. So I don't know if you want to come out to apologize, but the apology is not going to be sincere. Hold that to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself, okay? I know you receive some type of bad communication that you cannot have something. You're not the woman in the upright. You're not the person of high honor. Baby, I don't know what to tell you, but you self-sabotage by causing all of these allusion to a religious or a higher fan, someone that's in the upright. And they're putting an end to this nonsense. They don't want to offer from you. I'm telling you, whoever you are trying to manipulate, they don't want to offer from you. It don't got to be something romantic. It can be an institution. They don't want to offer from you because they know the truth that someone else is hardworking and you've been doing quite a lot to interfere with their work, their, their life. And that people like people know the truth at this point. So I don't know why you keep bothering. I heard the better witch. Someone wants to prove that they're more gifted than another person, but all they really do is manipulation. Someone does not have any spiritual gifts. Let me say that again. Someone does not have any spiritual gifts. So all she does is tell lies and do rituals round the clock. Every full moon, new moon, a sister is out there doing some type of love ritual so that someone can fall in love with her. This will be one of, the, one of those women that will put a drop in your drink, whatever it is you're drinking, whatever you're eating, so you can stay in love with them. Maybe the magic war of the glamour spell is gone or something like that. I don't know what it is to tell you, but you and everybody in the equation that is in the reverse, it's the end of the road for you. This is a death that you all are going through. Oh, baby, this is a death that you all are going through. And you'll keep out here trying to go towards the queen of cups. And I keep telling you, do not go towards this woman. Someone like keep your distance. I don't, I don't think you all realize what it is you're doing right now. Keep your distance from this woman. Cause at this point, someone does not care to, about binding you all in this lifetime, the next lifetime. They don't care. Like someone says she's, she, he has been patient with you all long enough. And they're going to make sure they have their wish fulfillment this lifetime. So you can protest a relationship or you want, you can protest a masculine taking the initiative to go for what he wants. All you want 
It ain't going to do nothing. This person of high honor is about to become a wife right when they enter into a relationship. It don't got to be with your twin fling. Higher level soulmate. This is what you all are afraid of because what you are what disappointed that this union is still coming into being. Or with the fact that you tried to destroy everything in a woman's life and they're still receiving some type of offer in love. And it's coming from a higher level soulmate where there will be reciprocity. So you got a queen of swords, high priestess, independent woman, wife material, queen of pentacles, motherly in everything that's about to be in a relationship. I don't know what to tell you all. I don't know what to tell you all. I don't know what to tell you. I'm telling you, I don't know what to tell you. I know you're way down behind the scenes about a king of cups wanting to invest what? Into someone. Maybe he's a king of cups because of his emotions for this woman. But honey, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but it's, it ain't going it didn't go in the way you thought it was, Jizzy Bell. Okay? I don't know what to tell you all. Like, this is redundant. I'm telling you, it's redundant at this point. <laughs> Woo! You got a high priestess. I don't want to work with you anymore. This is the person that was doing the real magic for you behind the scenes. You don't told someone you were gifted out here. You were intellectual, but you had to go and sneak and go to a high priestess so they can do the work for you so you can seem like you were gifted. You ain't gifted. I've been said that in a few readings. Like your your abilities, they, they don't exist. Source deactivated all of them. He said deactivate, 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 deactivate. Delete all that S-H-I-T. That's what Source <laughs> Delete that S H I T. <laughs> they deleted everything. They said, uh uh. She can't have any of that. So now that the truth is out that you're not gifted, you're not the twin flame, you're not the higher level soul, man. You've been causing nothing but illusions. Baby, look at you all burning and having to figure things out. But while you're trying to figure things out, what are you trying to do? Still sneak someone else, steal from them so you can alter someone's options, right? Alter someone's options options this could be a king of swords king of pentacles energy you're trying to alter their options you still want them to see you as the better option maybe that man sees right through you right through you i'm telling you he sees right through you so whatever you your mother your family have been doing behind the scenes everybody is trapped you ain't happy because two people are coming together baby and the offer you're getting oh it said, uh, yeah, we've tried to compromise with you. We gave you a plea deal, right? And you refuse to plea deal. Well, now you're going to the penitentiary, penitentiary. We don't have a plea deal available to you. We're not willing to bargain with you anymore. So, yeah, the whole family, the mother, the sister, the brother, the cousin, the little baby, everybody about to do time in their own way. They're about to be weighed down. This is what they didn't see coming. That all of them, they were being watched and monitored. And they know these two people are coming together. Whether it's now or later. Whether it's two higher level soulmates. Whether it is a, 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 a two twin flames coming together. Or they're coming together. Someone will have wish fulfillment. And the whole family. There's a couple. Baby, there's a couple. I'm telling you, they're coming together. There's a couple. That's about to have some legal issues and they're trapped in their mind because they're going to be put out of a home. A queen of pentacles is being put out of a home. This is either someone's wife or someone's mother. They've all been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes to make sure that someone does not get their, their inheritance, their abundance, their blessings. And they've been trying to hide this from the authorities, from the court system. You're, le you're losing that home, darling. You're losing that home. I've been told you a long time ago, you're getting pulled out of a home. Oh, yeah. You, 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 you're getting pulled out of a home. You can keep manipulating all you want behind the scenes. You and your family are being pulled out of a home. Nobody cares. You got a sick person. You're sick. You got this going on. Nobody cares. You are being put out of a home. Okay. So I don't know if you're taking actions to go and pay, baby girl, I don't know what is wrong with you. You're still going from community to community to collaborate with people to what? Block someone's uh, uh, finances to control someone, trap someone. Girl, I can't. The whole group, they're walking away. 
These people said they got better things to do. Okay. You don't, you don't self-sabotage out here. Got a, a lot of people to self-sabotage. What is this sticking out? Yeah, honey, they're still going to meet. They're still going to meet. They're walking away. They said, girl, this is over. You're lost. No. You're lost. I don't know if someone's trying to keep a man stuck in some type of divorce proceedings, sir. Cut that stuff out. <laughs> she said, da, 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 da. She tells everything. How does she know all of this? Girl, it's called intuitive. Intuition. It's the end of the road, darling. For an emperor that was taking some type of in... I don't know what this man thought he was going to do. Someone is really... It's out here very vain, greedy. Just, I don't know what the heck he thought he was going to... About to do. I'm sorry. He thought he was going to have wish fulfillment. Okay. <laughs> he thought he was going to, baby, sir, this man thought he was going to have wish fulfillment, okay? And then while he thought he was going to have wish fulfillment, they were all plotting on an emperor to end him. Baby, this is too much to be going through. He said, oh, he's going through changes. He's, go he's going through changes. He's just starting to self-actualize. We can't afford that. There could be someone that, I don't know if he got locked up or he's in some type of madhouse or whatever this is, baby. And they want you to find out, you the twin flame, that your twin flame is locked up or something, baby. They don't got nothing to do with you. They don't got nothing to do with you. If he got locked up, that's his, that's his karma to figure out. That's his karma to figure out, yeah. So she is trying to get people to collaborate on how they can keep a hold of your finances, keep you trapped, control you, because this is someone that likes to control. And she's trying to hold on to a man's money. She said, I, she said, I'll be darned if you about to go and be happy with someone else. I'll be darned if this little girl is about to be successful and defeat me. Girl, you've been defeated. I've been told you you're defeated. Someone has to leave an institution and they can't come back. They cannot come back. It's the end of the cycle, girl. You're being put out of that institution, out of that house, whatever this is. You're going to have to figure it out. You're going to have to figure it out. You're under judgment. Your friends are under judgment. Yeah. Your friends are under judgment. You don't got out here and martyr yourself, help them martyr themselves. And things are still being balanced out in the person's life you were coming after. I don't know what to be telling you guys. I am... <laughs> You can take the horse to the water, but you what? You cannot make the horse drink the water. You can you can spell stuff out for people, but I don't mean they're going to understand what it is you're saying. Some people ain't meant to understand. They ain't meant to understand. Okay? Collect it, set your goals, and go after them. Don't let nothing hinder you. Okay? Someone may be trying to cause some type of scandal, which is why I think... This woman here is taking some type of initiative to take some type of drastic action to go and get some people to call. Uh, baby, I don't know what it is. Like, she wants people to, to partner up with her so they can interfere with your work, get you locked up, uh, get you trapped. Some, it's, it's not going the way she thinks it is. You got a queen of wands that wants to come towards you as well. You got a whole lot of people just, just coming after you for no reason. No reason at all. No reason at all. You remember that, that Cardi B meme? You should have, what was the reason? What was the reason? It wasn't no reason. It's just jealousy, animosity, hatred, greed. That's all it is. That's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. They're jealous, so they're coming after you. They're insecure, so they're coming after you. That's all it is. That's all it is. But you're going to have to walk away because this chapter is over. Someone is going to keep standing their ground. No matter how many obstacles you keep trying to put in their way, no matter, matter how many still miss, they're always going to show up in their empress energy. Still fly as always. We stay fly. No lie. You know it's bowling. <laughs> <laughs> baby you, you you gonna have to move on because whoever you're coming after they know all your moves 
You say you got money moves, baby girl. They know all your moves, your plans, everything. Before you take a step, before you bust a move, they're high priestess. They know. You're just sitting there. While you're meeting with your group of karmic friends, this high priestess is meeting with your spirit team. They say they're going to do this tomorrow. She's planning on taking this action. She's going to go to your job. He's going to go to your job and tell your boss to fire you. They really need him to fire you so that you do not have access to your abundance so that you can be out in the street homeless and rejected. It's very dangerous for a person like you to be heard, to be seen because you've been known a little bit too much. We know we told you she was not gifted she's not the real deal he's not the real deal but then your boss is knowing that you are the real deal and he knows or she knows that that is why these people are after you because you're actually skilled and you are meant to be seen so maybe your boss knows that or they maybe go into your church to your school to your families all kinds of people to get them to collaborate with them so that they can take some type of impulsive action and get you locked up get you cut up get you trapped up yeah but they want you to they want you to be trapped up so you're not let out they said we want her to be locked up we won't let her out no that boss said negative that ain't happening whoever they're talking to is a negative they don't want no offer from this person someone may see you as a successful business partner like they may want to partner up with you so they said nah we ain't doing it we're good we're good over here sally you go over there and go find someone else to play around with because we don't got time to be playing around with you we don't F with you. You love stupid. <laughs> oh, that man, that woman said, I got a million things that I'd rather do. <laughs> I got a million other things that I'd rather <laughs> Yeah. He said, she said, I got a million other things that I would rather do than to be sitting here and wasting my time with you. Okay, so someone sees that they will have success with you in business. So they don't want to be in this collaboration with these people. I heard anymore. So maybe before they were collaborating with these people and they're starting to self-actualize and see things from a different viewpoint. They said, hey, listen, we can make a lot of money with this person. It's better to work with this person than to be against them. Okay, someone finds you to be very nurturing down to earth a good mother business partner whatever this is and they know your independence is very important to you so there's someone behind the scenes that's not trying to be tempering with all of that because that's like what's the point okay they didn't do anything to me i didn't do anything to them we don't have any bad blood so why am i partnering up with you to what interfere with this person's energy to lie on them slander them destroy them baby girl baby boy madam you all are gonna have to find something else to do with your time okay you're out here pissed off because a high priestess is telling the truth and giving clarity about your family that's emotionally imbalanced your family that's emotionally manipulative, mentally manipulative, emotionally unstable, mentally unstable, and is headed straight for poverty. Didn't we tell you all that you are headed for poverty? I've been told you all. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. That was a clue for you all that I've repeated 10,000 times on this channel. Okay, 10,000 times is a bit of an understatement, but I've said it quite a lot. I don't told you all. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. You ain't going to get no good news. What is this? Poverty? Bad news? The heck, the heck you thought it was going was to be? What? Baby, it, where are you going to go cause hindrances? He said, I'm going to go to this institution that she works for, that he works for, and I'm going to tell them that they're not skilled. They're causing us problems behind the scenes. They're causing a lot of mayhems and things like that. And then your boss, a lot of you, your bosses is going to be looking at them like, who is this clown? Where'd you come from again? Why are you here? Didn't I tell you we don't want to work with you? We ain't interested. Yeah, we feel like this person is successful. We can have success with this person. We like working with this person. So now they're pissed off because this cycle is over. The cycle done ended and they're still out here emotionally imbalanced, going through a lot of turmoil that they caused for themselves. And they're sitting out here in time out. And the universe is saying, yeah, you stay in time out. And she's like, well, how long am I supposed to be in time out? The universe said, we'll get back to you on that. We'll get back to you on that. 
But for now, you stay in time out. You think about what you did. You know how our parents, well, my African parents don't put you in time out. Time out does not exist in Africa. In an African household, time out does not exist. You know what is this? The belt. <laughs> Cynthia, I don't told you. <laughs> Yeah, and they only got to see it something one time and you get your act together. But you know, America, time out. Your parents put you out, put you in time out and you're sitting there and you can't talk. You can't do nothing. You want to ask them if it's over yet, but you got to sit there quietly because you know if you say something, they're going to start it all over. That's so cute. That's a cute kind of discipline. African birds, they don't believe in cute discipline. They believe in nipping it in the butt right now. So you never do it. <laughs> I don't love African parents. They nip that sucker in the butt on sight. You never do it again, baby. But anyways, the universe takes a different approach. They say, you know, we'll put you in time out. We'll put you in time out. They don't put her in time out or put them in time out so much. They say, you know what? Time out ain't working. You know what? Come on. You know what? Let's fix this situation, Karen. Ashley, Melissa, Baron. Let's fix this situation, shall we? Because time out ain't working no more. We're going to need you to do a little bit more something else right now. You're going to do a little bit of time in the penitentiary, in jail. I can't go to jail. I'm a privileged woman. I've never been to jail before. You should have thought of that before. You were out here manipulating and playing people like two bucks. Playing people like a flute and still trying to pretend like you were in the upright. And the whole time you've been manipulating people as heck. Gaslighting, girl, you, you all not just the not just the queen of wands or the queen of pentacles. They are all emotionally imbalanced, irritable. Something ain't going right. Something ain't going the way a family thought it was gonna go. And now they are all trapped in their minds because someone may be out here advocating for the person they were trying to destroy. I don't know why these people keep coming after these high priestesses. You know, we be minding our business, just giving the downloads that we're receiving. But then you have people that watch and they apply it to themselves, even though it should not be applied. And they take it personal and they say, you know what? We're going to destroy them. They say, why? They don't know you, Sally. They don't know you, Johnny. They don't know you, Billy. You're going to have to fix your mind. This is why we said this is what applies let the rest fly, okay? You, you, if you're extra like me, because I got to be extra, I said six words apply, take what applies, and save the rest for later because you never know what's going to happen later. Listen, that don't mean that it's about you. Anyways, listen, 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 Linda, Linda, listen. You can keep pretending all you want, but guess what? Whoever you're coming after, they're still going to have what belongs to them. They're still going to have wish fulfillment. I've been told you all, you're losing what you stole. Some of you didn't get your blessings. It's being protected. Some of you did stole your blessings, but you're going to lose it. Oh, you're going to lose it. You're going to lose it and then some. And the sum is what you were not willing to lose. I.e. family members, jobs, security, everything. Losing it. Losing it. You got a woman of high honor falling from grace because she is disingenuous, asking B. Now she's trying to move on, move away. I don't know where you're going to, honey. I hope you ain't running away talking about, I'm just going to relocate and start all over. That's cute. But first, um, yeah, the investigators, they need to talk to you. You know, I don't know if you knew this, but they were watching you the whole time. You were taking all these actions to block someone else's life, lying and stealing. Yeah, you got some answers to give they got questions you better have the answers so we don't know when your flight is scheduled we really don't care melissa but you're gonna have to come in and answer a few questions when we say a few questions we mean we got a scroll of questions you gotta answer okay once you're done answering them questions and you answer them to our liking and we are satisfied with the questions and the answers and if we do not believe that you've done anything illegal, you are free to go. But if we find that you did something illegal, it's locked down, clank, clank for you. On site. Can I go now? No. We got, 
We got you're gonna have to strip down. We got a whole new outfit for you. You like orange? Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 You like orange? Okay. Orange does look does look like it would be a good color on you. You know? Yeah. I, th I think orange is a good color for you. I don't like orange. Mm. We're limited here in options, Melissa. You like orange? Yeah, you like orange. Go get her her orange outfit. Okay? Baby, I've been told you all, okay? And there's a whole lot of other high priestesses that don't told you all. Stop doing something you were doing. You didn't listen. Maybe because the messages are so accurate, that's why you all think people are talking about you? No. Some of us out here, we actually, actually have the gift. You know, the gift that you're trying to shut down so people don't see us. You want people to believe we're crazy, but you want to have our gifts at the same time. Miss Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Reversed. Yeah. Your head is straight to poverty. And that's how you're going to end this chapter. Oh, baby. Mm, 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 mm. It's a couple out here crying. And they're still trying to hold on to what does not belong to them. You got to have a special kind of mental illness to be trying to pretend to be in the upright. He said, we're defending our love. We're defending our property. It ain't going right for you. It's not your property. You stole something. It don't belong to you. You forced someone's signature. You did something illegal to get something you have. You're going to lose it. You've lost it already. You can have, listen, there's a couple or there's a family. They have third parties watching terror readers and reporting back to them. It said, what's going on now? Is this still coming out that we're going to be losing this house, this abundance that we stole? Yep, 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 yep. You're still going to be losing it. You're going to be out in the cold. Am I still going to be losing that position that I stole? Yep, 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 yep. Your boss is going to tell you, I can't believe you were part of this nonsense the whole time. And you've been out here pretending like you didn't know, like you were actually a genuine person. I cannot believe this. I thought very highly of you, Melissa. No, 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 no. Melissa has been pretending the whole time that she was in the upright. Melissa is the head of the cult. Yeah. She's the one that was orchestrating everything. Melissa acts from behind the scenes, so nobody knows. Melissa is a king, queen of swords. She acts from behind the scenes and very cunning, calculative. She has them make all the moves. She comes up with the plans. She tells them, let's not email this and not, let's not talk about this on the phone. We're going to meet in person. They change their locations every time they're meeting. So what? They can come up with their plans on how to keep hushing everything up. How to keep fathering the lie. Because everything that comes out of their mouth. The queen of wands. The queen of swords. Queen of cups. Queen of pentacles. All of them is a lie. Everything is a lie. You can't trust nothing. And when I say nothing. Nothing. That comes out of their mouths. Okay. Oh. So now they're out here upset. Because what? Everybody's upset. Why is everybody upset? Life is a projection of the energy you put out. You really thought you were going to come out here and project all of this negative energy onto someone else. And then you were just going to skip, skip, skip to my look down the road and just go on and live your best life. Just steal from people, block people, lie on people. And then what? You're just going to live your best life, huh? I think not. Come back here. Come, 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 come. Sit down. Come, come on. You ain't about to have people going through this shenanigans with you anymore. They're done. You can be unhappy all you want because you're not able to manipulate someone. Listen, it's a woman in here. She's been so accustomed to manipulating people. She's still trying to fodder it and someone's telling her, hey, yeah, calm down. I don't got time for your nonsense today. <laughs> he said, listen, I told you, you only call me, you only text me when it has to do with the money. Meaning they work together more than likely. If it, if it ain't got nothing to do with the money, he said, don't call me. Don't text me. Don't email me. Nothing. I've been trying to get a hold of you. I know. I know. <laughs> he knows, darling. He knows the whole family is trapped. 
this is oh this is not how we thought it would go we thought we were going to be successful i don't understand how it's going in her favor she get everything she wants he gets everything he wants baby that's because the universe f's with them the universe out here like that is it rich homie quine i don't know who this one is when i say i f with you girl <laughs> The universe said, you can have whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. Sex on deck. Patron on ice. <laughs> we can pop bottles all night. <laughs> Baby, you can have whatever you like. That's what the universe is saying to someone. They can get whatever they want because they don't put in that work. That work. That work. So y'all can keep leaving the comfort of your homes to go and collaborate all your ones. Mm -hmm. Collective, someone's coming towards you with information. That's all you need to know about a court case. You were supposed to be giving information about this court case a long time ago. No one ever told you about this. Nobody. Nobody. If someone sent you some type of information as well, it was interfered with. Okay? Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.